What's up everybody? Welcome back. As always, I am Aprilia AI and today we're going to be diving into another image generator service. This one is called MazeGuru, which is actually quite highly ranked on a lot of these AI aggregator websites. So I finally decided to give it a try. I mean, I've been aware of this platform for quite some time and it's actually pretty clean in terms of their interface and everything. So it looks a bit more higher quality product. MazeGuru does have a free plan. So any one of you watching the video can basically sign up to the platform and try it for free. The initial pricing is $8 a month. That is with the annual subscription and the pro is $40. And then on the monthly it's 10 and 50 basically. And the free version comes along with 200 points. The cost of prompting one image is three points then you can get 12 points for free. So basically you can prompt four images with the free plan. There's a lot of different um, styles and templates. Some of them are behind the standard and the pro subscriptions. And also there are certain things like you're not able to have a copyright support for these. And I think that means that you're not not able to sell these things with the free plan. If you buy the, subscrip the subscription plan, you have the commercial rights for those images. So if people are really interested in selling these images at a lot of these AI generator website, uh, sorry, not sort of these stock, stock image websites, for example, or some other platforms as NFTs, for example, um, this is not an option with the free plan. But that's a very different uh, setting that a lot of the other platforms usually do support the free things, but maybe they will come with some type of watermark and things like that. But I would say actually, when you actually look at the per prompt cost, it is quite affordable, I would argue, compared to a lot of the other services that I've seen. Although a lot of services have also dropped their pricing altogether in terms of the prompt costs. But, you know, compared to like things like we reviewed last time, like LimeWire, that's pretty affordable. And I would say that definitely MazeGuru is one or more on the affordable side in terms of subscription costs. Like MidJourney, for example, I think is $9 for the cheapest plan. And then there are obviously ability to buy points straight up. So basically with $3, you can buy 200 points. If you don't want to go the subscription model, you just need a set amount of points and you can do that. And there's also a lot of ways to basically earn points. You can invite people. I'm going to leave my invitation link down below in case you want to support my work. I, at least I get some points on the platform and you can also download their app and join their discord and things like that. And that will basically um, get you. Yeah. Okay. So, um, sorry, sorry, sorry about that <laughs> brain freeze. So one of the services that they do have is this digital human thing. Now, before I actually jump in and try this, I did try it with another browser and I ran into actual errors. So this service may not be working. Uh, I'm going to be choosing a random image here that I have generated. Let's say, uh, we're going to be taking this one and so I run into errors. This is actually costing quite a lot of points. And what I understood is that this is trying to take out the image and prompting it out on different types of formats. Let's see if this actually works. Okay, the same error is happening on this browser as well. So fundamentally, um, this side of the website as of right now, the digital human feature is not working. So I always, when I do these reviews, I want to bring out all the bad and good stuff to give you like the best, you know, possible view on these platforms. Now, there's also these challenges going on. Um, I don't know exactly what are these about. Are there actual prizes on these? Because they just go into the challenge page and I don't actually see anything about like um, any types of like rewards being given. Maybe those details are in Discord, okay? So I could be um, not privy to that information. Now, let's actually go into them. Uh, there's also a gallery and here are some of the prompts that you um, a lot of people have created. Some of these are very detailed. So there's a support for a stable diffusion in Excel and also Midjourney is supported through this platform as well. So some of these are created with Excel, some with uh, Midjourney's uh, different features. So a lot of very high quality images as you can see, definitely on the higher end edge of the site. And you can also have an option to actually privatize your um, thing. So let me actually log in here just very quickly. And let's actually try the digital human thing again, because in case it's going to be working out because we are logged in. So I probably should have uh, done that earlier. Okay. It's giving out the same errors. It's okay. Well, whatever. Let's go back into the, the profile here. So when you go into settings, you have the ability to go into ignore incognito mode. So you have this ability to basically make the drawings not visible to other people in case you want to do something very private. And there's also API support here in case you want to use certain things from the thing. But let's actually get into the meat and the uh, potatoes of things. And that is obviously creation tool here, which allows to, allows us to prompt already things. So I already did a one test run here. I, you know, gave out a pretty lengthy prompt and I gave out 
pretty fantastic results. These are done with the uh, SDXL, which I always had a bit of a big problem like getting running on my computer like through my own automatic 1.11.11 uh, interface. So it's actually kind of nice to have this feature on some of these websites. And these are very high end images, especially on the face side, you can see extreme amount of detail here. These are very, very fine uh, detail. And that's what I got with the anime Excel. We're going to be trying out a couple of these different styles. And here, for example, we have Niji. And I believe this is kind of like uh, mid journeys. Uh, Niji is referring to that. And there are a couple of things which are kind of like VIP only. And these are obviously like behind the pro version and the standard version. So you're not able to ac access everything. And I'm going to be just copying a prompt from Civitai and see what we're going to be doing. And just to give you like a actual idea. Okay, this is not something we need for here. And we are going to be going for maybe let's try fantasy here. And we can also choose how many images we're going to be doing. We can do the creation seed. That's sometimes important when you want to do multiple prompts. And I also like that there are multiple sizes here because maybe you want to upload for a certain website based uh, images like I don't know, like maybe you need a mobile wall wallpaper or something. So we have 916 here and 12, which are essentially kind of like uh, one of those more desired. So you have basically all the um, things. Now let's now actually prompt, and this shouldn't be taking too long to actually go through the process. And this is costing us obviously uh, eight points. So this is four images. It seems that it seems that the point cost is varying a bit uh, between these models. So I was using Excel 2.5D Excel before on those other images. So that's probably the reason why I was paying a bit more in points because that cost 12 points to basically do these four initial images uh, that I showed you. So here, let's see um, some of these images. This is actually pretty high quality. We can see kind of like these older uh, models. The, the face is not as great, but like a little bit, little bit the rest of the body. It is looking uh, pretty cool. Uh, let's see uh, this image here. Okay, here we got a bit better face, still a bit of a tweak in the eyes. And that's kind of like what the earlier stable diffusion models are going for. But let's uh, try out, you know, actually we used an anime XL, but let's do the 2.5D XL and this costs 12 points. But let's say we want to do the 4.3 uh, extensions here and let's see what type of results uh, we have. And this is the um, point amount where you can see how much we have. And then we can also like, at a seed image. So if you want to like have a frame of reference, like I wanted this image to look like this, we can add the seed image there and it will create out an image that is more closer uh, to that original design. And what should else we actually try out after this? Let's see if there's something really cool here. There's our genres here as well. We would probably should try the retro Shanghai next because that's probably what we're kind of going for with this Chinese dragon uh, style thing. So I would say overall, like the prompting speed is pretty good. And you can also put this, okay, where images are ready. So let's look at these 2.5 DXL. Okay, look at that. That's a very, very fine detail there. Very clear face. The dragon even looks pretty good. The teeth are pretty much in intact. Great background there. Let's look at the other one here. Okay, another one. Very, very highly detailed look here. I am just like, these are great fantasy art, which could be put into a real game. Even this dragon on the background, which is not as detailed. Like you, you can see definitely the shapes are pretty much right. There doesn't seem to be like any big problems. And the fingers also seem to be pretty, pretty accurate there on the sides. And here we have another one, but let's see. And I, there's also a redraw feature. So let's see if this is actually like allowing us. Oh yeah, and there's the upscale, upscale thing we can use. Okay, this is behind pro. Okay, we're not able to use that. And I remember there was another feature which was basically to do in painting on the images that you have, you know, uh, generated. Let's see, if we can actually get back into my creations and see if there's some type of post editing service on the free free side of things. Uh, we can hide this. Can we actually try the prompt creation time seed image? No, there doesn't seem to be any type of uh, ability. I see that on their video. Maybe maybe it's not available for the 2.5D version. Maybe it's available on these as well. No, there's no, there's no such feature here. But that's basically um, what we like have seen here. Obviously, you can do many different things here. So let's try a spin to another, like a retro Shanghai. Can we actually add multiple themes? No. Now let's try a portrait. And can we actually, no, we can only do four at a time. Let's do a random seed here. 
and generate a couple of more. So I think this is the image that we tried to do earlier and it re redraw it basically in a different style. Yeah. So it basically, no, this was the image and this is the redraw of it. So here, here's the original and here it tried to basically redo it. And actually this result is very nice. It's quite different, but the dragon on the background is somewhat the same. I guess I'm not actually sure did it actually redraw that or did it just use the original prompt and you can also have negative prompts here but with this quality especially with the SDXL not really necessary but obviously you know what you're doing and so let's look at these so here we have a bit of an art style okay this is kind of wonky bit all over the place in terms of the defiguration this one is a bit more clear but I kind of like the art style is trying to iterate it in, in a good way and it seems to be working out for the most part. So I would say that uh, Maze Guru is actually pretty good. It gives you a lot of free credits to do for, go for. We have only done like, well, three prompts here and still got plenty to go. And obviously we're getting 12 points per, per day. So you're able to accumulate a lot more of these things uh, all together. And you know, the quality of these Excel models especially is very good. There's this interior design thing as well, which is good because a lot of these um, SDXL and models in a lot of these other platforms are really tailored towards of creating uh, characters. And it's kind of important to also have, because some people like to do buildings and houses and homes and stuff like that, especially in stock image market, those are a lot more, um, perhaps more bought images in general. So that's another good thing about this platform. So altogether, I think it's pretty good. And, uh, you know, I don't really have much complaints. We didn't get the digital human service working. So that's one problem that we got into. And there's a couple of different languages available here. So I don't really have much else to add here. You kind of saw this uh, ability here. I mean, we kind of went through the gallery as well. Maybe, maybe in the pro model, you can actually do those uh, post image editing things, not just up upscaling. You want to impede certain part about the image and then it like recorrects it or tries to prompt it over again. And that's something, a very important feature, which I've run into as of late. And that's something like mid journey, for example, offers me that I don't need to prompt out a whole new image. I can start editing the other one. And obviously I could do some small tweaks, things in myself in Photoshop, but that's pretty much my review for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, and obviously in case you want to try it out, I leave the link down below in the description for you to sign up. As I already said, it's free a totally free trial and it doesn't, bind you to any credit cards or anything like that. So you can get started with prompting in a very, very reg relative ease. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video. Cheers.